Hey, what's going on guys? It's Relic, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite blue skins in CSGO. Right before we get into the video though, just look at this one, dude. Just, 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 just look, just look. Oh. 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 Sorry, it just, mm, freaking, oh. Anyway, okay. Anyway, on to number 10. Coming in at number 10 is the USP Stainless. So the skin is really clean, really slick, not much to it. But because of that, you can customize pretty much whatever stickers you want on it. You know, it could be blue, it could be green, it could be multicolored, it can be anything, you know? Everything matches. So it's kind of cool um, that way. And I personally actually use this USP, so maybe there's a little bit of a bias here too. At number 9, we have the P250 Valence, which this pistol actually kind of gives the same feel that the Op Asimov has. You know, it looks scientific, it's... Got that white and one other color, so, I mean, there's that, you know, it's just the pistol form and blue, but you still kind of get that feel, which kind of makes sense because it's the same creator. And I personally don't use this pistol, but it does look extremely nice. Coming in at number 8, we have the MP7 Armor Core. What do you know, another skin that I use, except I have a nice little TSM sticker on the back. But... Um, yeah, once again, another gun that I do use, even though my inventory's worth like a thousand dollars, so that kind of means something when I'm using a blue skin. So hopefully you can just tell by the look, you know, once again, clean slick kind of adds a nice feel to it, and there's also not a lot of good MP7 skins out there, this is pretty much the only one. For number 7, we have the MAC-10 Fade. I love fades. I had a M9 Bayonet. Um, the only reason why this gun isn't higher up is because I hate how these little bars do not have the fade with them. It just, it doesn't make the skin full enough to me, I don't know. Maybe if some other part of the gun was just also fade, I feel like it just doesn't have enough. But that's gonna be number 7. At number 6 we have the 5.7 cami. The only reason why the Galil cami isn't here is because the 5.7 at the back of it can actually have some pretty cool designs. In fact, the one that I'm showing right here has kind of a sad face on it. I don't know if that's ever like a real one. I I've never personally seen it, but it kind of looks like a sad face to me, so that's pretty cool. For number 5 we have the 5.7 CZ. Now, once again, I've been saying this a few times, but just super clean and slick. The only thing that I wish this skin had was that it was just brighter. Um, if you put it up to the sun, you know, in the game, which unfortunately I'm kind of in a sunroof here, so it's like half and half, you know. But um, yeah, I don't know if maybe the minimal wear version has more brightness to it, because it is more expensive or what, but that is going to be number five. The gun that takes number 4 is going to be the Sawed-Off Origami. Now, I really think that this skin should have been higher than a blue, because it is just a beautiful, awesome skin. It does not deserve to be 10 cents. Like, yeah, it's a Sawed-Off, yeah, it's a blue, so it kind of has to be, unfortunately, but I just love this skin. I love the just all the little triangles all in the back. It just looks awesome to me. So that's going to be number 4. At number three, it's going to be the Glock Bunsen Burner. Also use this skin, I actually just got rid of it yesterday, but it actually is still probably my favorite Glock. I'm kind of sad I got rid of my baby. But, um, you know, it, it has that, that type of fade color to it, which like I said, I like fades. I named mine the Blue Fade because, I mean, kind of, you know, you, you kind of see where I'm getting. So, yeah, I just personally like the skin a lot, and a lot of people like it as well. At the second place spot, we got the AK Elite build. I've always been a huge fan of this skin. Unfortunately, I splurge a lot of money on CSGO skins, so therefore my AK, my Op, and my M4 have to be worth a lot of money. But if I was a low spender, this would be a gun I would go right to. It is just so nice. Um, there's a lot of cool unknown stickers that you can put on it that match it extremely well. My friend actually does that, and it just looks so great. And the gun that takes it all first place is going to be the SSG or the Scout Detour. This gun, oh my god. I just recently transferred to not having all stat track skins and getting just the skins that I think look the best, aka this is one of them, because it can't come in the stat track, but this gun is freaking beautiful and it's only $3. Like, ugh. 
Anyway, this, I just, I'm obsessed with this skin. The Scout skin is easily the best, and it will take first place, and that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to click the subscribe button, because a lot more of these will be coming soon in the future. And also, if you do subscribe, um, you also become a dinosaur, so I feel like that might tickle your fancy and a little added effect there. And like the video if you enjoyed as well, because, well, I mean, if you're literally hitting the subscribe button right now, I'm assuming you also liked the video. So if you liked the video, well, hitting that like button would really help me out. But um, until next time, see you guys later.